Hello guys, welcome to DK Uncovered, and I'm here again with Ralph. <laughs> so, I hope you guys enjoyed the last video. What is energy? <clears throat> I'll be putting it down below. So if you guys haven't checked it out, make sure you check it out. Um, so in today's talk, we'll be talking about if religion is dying out. I don't think it's dying out, but he thinks it's dying out. So I'm going to ask him questions and I'm going to see, hopefully he can share his views why he is dying out. And feel free to add anything in the comment section. Let's go. <laughs> so why do you think religion is dying out, bro? Why do I think religion is dying out? Mm -hmm. Well, I did see statistics the other day showing that it is dying out. And I can't remember where it was from. And I think I can remember who showed it, but... He's on, he's the guy's on YouTube anyway, but, um, basically, um, for me, when, when you go around talking to a lot of people anyway, like, um, a lot of people who have these views on certain things like, um, so, um, let's say I saw a video recently where they were talking to, um, uh, London Muslims, I'll say London Muslims because, you know, who knows elsewhere in the UK or wherever or whatnot. Um, they were asking them about um, um, the new law in Brunei, I think it was, about um, gay people and how they should be stoned to death. And when you talk to a lot of more London Muslims, they were against it. And then um, the people were like, um, so how can you be against it and be a Muslim? And they were like, well, you know, I still love my religion and all whatnot and everything, but I'm definitely against the fact that people who love someone else should be killed for it. So it was kind of like this contradiction going on. And when you get deeper into the religion, do you understand that you can be a Muslim and you can not be against, you know, um, homosexuality? Like in the religion, it does say that Muslim, you, you can be. Um, Attracted to uh, someone of the same sex, but you, you you just don't act upon the impulses. So that, that a lot of people don't know that anyway. But it's just the fact that a lot of people are going against certain views. So a lot of people are looking back when um, uh, in Christianity, you know, like a lot of people don't know in the Bible it says that if your son, um, what's it called, sins or if your son speak uh, speaks against you, you should go out and stone it to death. Mm -hmm. So like for me, like. But they, when you talk to the average Christian or average person today, they're pretty much acting like they're against their own religion because they're saying to you that they won't do it when the Bible says otherwise. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So that's where I'm coming from. Like it's dying out slowly, but it's kicking and screaming and dragging its claws against the floor as it's getting dragged out. You understand? But yeah. But like, don't okay. you think that maybe it's the more than teaching or looking for okay for example the idea of gay people right the gay the gay the whole gay topic mm -hmm. don't you think maybe it's because of how the media has been pushing gay being gay and love and all that the way they've pushed it has made people feel like okay they are soon they are numb to it they feel like okay let me just accept these people and just still have my religion my religion is saying is wrong but the way maybe um the media and everyone is pushing it. You need to just accept it, just love and all that. Has made people accept it, but maybe the other Muslims feel like, nah, it's still wrong. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying it's wrong here. I'm just saying maybe that's why they feel like, mm. you know what I mean? But, it should um, be fine, but yeah. What, what I would say to that is, um, what media is pushing the gay, ma gay marriage or the gay agenda? Because this is what a lot of people do say. But all people say, I hear that all the time. Mm -hmm. They are pushing the gay. Agenda, they're pushing the transgender agenda. But, but I don't know what media are, are you talking about? Fox News, are you talking <laughs> about Sky News, you're talking about BBC, um, Channel 4. I mean, when, you Which know, what, you I about? think when they say that they're saying, like, you know, when you watch movies and you go on Twitter, and there's there's so many platforms, you'd be surprised. Like, yeah. like I said, I mean, I'm, I'm not against that. Yeah, hey, you know, what I mean, you're free to do anything mm. that's your life. You know, what I mean, I'm, no, I'm not the one to but, judge but, anyone, but, but, but I'm understand, saying, but understand, yeah. like. The, those platforms you've mentioned, mm -hmm. these are just normal people like us on it. <laughs> but it's still so, the media. When they say okay, gay day or the you know pride or whatever day, it, it's still you know what I mean. So when people see that 
And when you know when okay, for, imagine right, if I was a Muslim and I came out, I'm against it. Do you know how do you know how many people are going to tear me apart? Yeah, but I'm I'm not, I'm talking in the sense of like because you you made it like it's like the the agenda of like the elites to no 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 I'm, I, I don't know I'm not making it yeah. like that but I'm just saying okay because that's where I'm, I'm that's why I'm saying that we have to distinguish between what we're calling uh, media mm -hmm. in terms of news or media in terms of you know oh how everyone is on there and everyone's out there putting their thing on it and mm -hmm. this is what. Um, people are saying about it because people can say you know 40 years or not even 20 years ago you could say there was a interracial agenda it's true true you see what i'm saying but today we're not going to say that because we're going to say it's okay to you know be you know for it but where but people probably say yeah there was an interracial agenda they were probably sharing films or whatever with couples together and there was attacking stereotypes and whatever and whatnot mm -hmm. but in terms of the gay agenda thing i probably would say that you're probably talking about a few people pushing this gay day mm -hmm. and these people happen to be people who are from that you know cycle or, or what you would call a um, left liberal people say liberals people say leftists people say um, there's all kinds of leftist groups here yeah, out there that are pushing this agenda so um, I can understand where you're coming from on that, but I wouldn't say it's a media thing. I would probably just say it's people trying to, like people, ordinary people like you and me trying to say, people just stop doing it. Stop cursing out people for doing that type of stuff. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what I'd say it is more. Because then you can say that they're, they're pushing the, the, the black agenda. You see what I'm saying? Black lives matter. Mm -hmm. And people have already come out saying all lives matter. Mm -hmm. You understand? So yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but okay. So you say religion is dying, but you, do you think you, that can't be the only reason why religion is dying? Like, because I feel like religion is such a powerful friend, man, for this this little reason. You know what I mean? To yeah. just eliminate religion like that? No, 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 no way. It, it's dying out, but dying out doesn't mean it's gonna happen overnight. It's like I said, it's kicking and screaming. You know? Yeah. It's doing it. It's doing it. It's doing it. You know, the, 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 you know the face that um that that little boys or little children make when when they when when they're not when their mom tells them no, <laughs> they're, they're doing that. You know, doing all of that, but it's it's gonna it's going to go. Understand? It's going to go, people. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see, me. I'm not religious or anything, any none yeah. of that. Yeah. But I just feel like religion yeah. is something that will never <laughs> die out. That see, I feel like in hundred or two hundred, three hundred years time. Some people will still turn to religion, no matter what, what happens. People will still turn to it, turn to the morals, the teachings that they teach. People could still look up that and feel like, okay, but this this is giving, this can give me hope or this can give me something. You know what I mean? That's, but that's the problem, like, um, the teachings itself mm -hmm. are already man-made. Like they're man-made. That a lot of those things that are known is like, thou shall not steal. Okay, yeah, that's where well, everyone knows you shouldn't steal. Like you could go to the person in Amazon, they will tell you the same thing. You understand so it's not like um you're when you're talking re religion you're talking in terms of the abrahamic religions i assume in it i don't know i'm just saying that you know the stories right the stories some people can look into the story and give them hope it's not just about the morals or don't steal or don't that i'm saying the stories and how probably it's been written like right stories though so i just don't know i just said what i i'm just basically yeah. what i used yeah, to go to yeah, school yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. but you know there's some i just feel like you know, okay, for example, you know when you know when we were growing up and our parents used to look you read the Bible or when the pastor is teaching to their side, you know the way they, they used to get a feeling in them like yes, you know what I mean I've got that's what I'm saying. Like I understand what you're saying, yeah. But remember those people are dying out. So like the people who were against uh interracial marriage, they died out now, or there's few of them right now. Mm -hmm. The same way there are gonna be a few of those people who are gonna say uh, what's it called religion because a lot of when you talk to a lot of the youths a lot of the youths are what you would call spiritual it's re like even me because i feel like i i can i can i can understand what you're saying because i see a lot of black christians today especially younger ones saying that god first you know uh they'll be putting uh bible quotes on their on their um, instagram, instagram yeah 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 they're putting it on um uh, whatever social media page they'll be putting on there and then they'll they'll be approaching you on the street uh, uh talking to you in a barber shop or talking to you somewhere about it saying that oh basically um 
how can you even not uh, believe in it? And like, what's it called? I uh, have a relationship with. That's what more time they're saying now. They're saying they have a relationship because they're not even going to church anymore. They're just saying they have a relationship. And that's why I say it's going to die out for us. A lot of people are going to that point where they're saying, um, I have, I've, either they have a relationship or they don't say certain things that they, they don't agree with all the things that's written in there or um, what's it called? Like, um, they're spiritual. They, they're more harping on the spiritual side. Like, I'm spiritual. I'm, I'm this and that and that's what I think is going to make religion die out because that spiritual side is going to take over rather than the whole like people just look at Jesus and say he's another man yeah, yeah. okay so you see the people that says I am spiritual why is that thing because me why I'm spiritual I see so many people say oh I am spiritual personal yeah a lot of people even a regular guy in that's the street like I am spiritual that's what why is that it's um like I was just before I answered that, like that's what I was saying. Like a lot of people are coming out with that, and that's why I say religion is gonna die because people ain't coming to this or oh, the Bible anymore. They say they will say they believe in some stuff of the Bible, but they will say overall, oh, I'm you know I'm spiritual. I I just believe there's a higher force and there's energy and this all. That. <coughs> but moving on to, to your question, um, spiritual to me, yeah, is just another way of saying unseen. And that unseen could be, you know, the oxygen in the air, the energy that's uh, what's called within you, that the chemicals and all that type of stuff. That's how I understand it on the spirituality, you know, like, you know, when in the Bible, I think it said that um, God breathes along the ocean and 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 it causes the oceans to to do. That's, that was the, like, when you look at it, like the only thing that you see making the oceans move up and down is the wind, didn't it? So you're saying that spirit that God breathed into you because they, they say that God, uh, God breathed the spirit into the nose and whatever or he breathed across the ocean. That's the same thing. So they're talking about the unseen. That's the wind or the things that you can't you know, touch or whatever. So yeah, that's, mm. that's how I understand the spirit or what people call spirituality. Mm. Is, it, is it just, no, are, you, are we sure it's not it's something that's trending? <laughs> it's not just trending now. Like everyone's saying, I'm, like how people, yeah, people are, I'm a vegan. And yeah, 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 it was trending now. People are like, I'm a vegan and this, I only eat this and all that. Don't you don't we think yeah. that's exactly how spirituality, the so called spirituality now is like because no matter what we no matter what we do, I feel like the people that even say I'm spiritual, they still take a lot of teachings and beliefs from religion. Of course, of course. Exactly. So course. how do we think it's gonna get that out if we're still taking it from that? No, because like a lot of the things that were taught in the Bible have no, you just common sense it. teach like, well Abrahamic religion because I listen it's only the Abrahamic religion that go out there preaching this you understand mm -hmm. and let's not it's not let's not front it's, a, it's the Abrahamic so a lot of I don't know what, what is the okay, first of all what is the Abrahamic religion that's Judaism mm -hmm. Christianity and Islam mm -hmm. you understand so you know Christianity you know Rastafari probably say they're not Christian you know um, Hebrew Israelites probably say they're all the same <coughs> so anything that preaches about Adam being the first man or Abraham being the father of the whole uh, creations and whatnot you understand so um, according to them mm -hmm. wait sorry what was that question again <laughs> <laughs> why is Abraham mixed religion really, really yeah before teaching? that yeah you, because you were relating it to something else you were talking about uh, the spirituality or whatnot. I didn't know. Oh, okay. Now, I understand <laughs> what you're so, so basically, you, what you were trying to say is that um, uh, how is the Abrahamics, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, because a lot of people get their teachings from these Abrahamics. Yeah, the like, spiritual, the people called. Yeah. yeah. So what I was going to say is that um, a lot of the things that you look into the, in the Abrahamics, they are not. There's like some of it is wrong, but some of it is common sense. You understand or mm. some of it is not wrong but it's oh, misunderstood so we were talking earlier about uh, for example you know um someone mentioned um about um cutting off your hand if it causes you sin this is in the bible mm -hmm. and the way i understood it is that if someone is causing you to you know go against your own morals you know stay away from them or you know just cut them out of your life understand or mm. just um know that and and not do it and not indulge in the thing that you're 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 saying that's your own morals so yeah that's 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 what i would say that um um 
that that yeah the vibe was getting like a lot of a lot of people just um, doing their own thing and not really yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> you can't bother that up at the end but yeah pretty much yeah yeah do you know what this, this is a hard one man I mean like I said I'm not religious in it but yeah. still I just feel like based on remember we had that debate one night you me your yeah. sister and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. See that debate and the, that new that's the new whole teachings coming out right now. Mm. Like mm. from a whole new different people. Mm. You yeah, know when sure. when you see that, do you feel like religion is going to die out? Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. It's in your inner circle, so you see it a lot. That's like I told mm. you earlier just now. Like I see my cousins coming out saying that there's mm-hmm. uh, God first Christianity. Uh, you know they they say that their fellowship or their 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 you see all that stuff. Yeah, but the reality is. Sure it's not in, your circle, in your circle as well. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's in my circle. Right? I mean, I see like the people that. Are you sure it's not in your circle that makes you think that religion is dying out? In, in my circle, mm-hmm. from what I'm seeing, mm-hmm. I would say to you, yeah, it's not dying out. Because, it's not dying out. Because when I look at my parents, when I talk to my parents, when I talk to um, you know, other family members, like I said, I talk mm-hmm. to them about, uh, and they will say that the fellowship, God first, all that type of stuff. I'm hearing the same thing that you're hearing, like. Oh, what's it called? I still believe firmly in Christianity. But when you actually like go into the wider society, like a lot of people, a few few people are religious, or even when you talk to those family members, they don't agree with what or everything they're saying. Even yeah. um <clears throat> even my um uh 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 you know, my aunties and my uncles or family like to say, What's it called? You're Nigerian, why do you have dreads? You know, like it's not in our culture and whatnot and everything. Men shouldn't have long hair, better tear. Men shouldn't have beards, better tear. <laughs> so, you know, all I have to do is, I'll be like, you know, I'll, I'll run a I'll, yeah, so, yeah, I'll just, I'll, I'll, make, I'll make a little joke with them. So I'll go up to a Jesus photo and say like, Jesus, don't worry, they didn't mean that. You know, you know what I mean? <laughs> but you know, Jesus has long hair it's and true. a beard. So if you're going to come at me, look at your Lord and Saviour. <laughs> it's all about the 80s though. Because I see a lot of them too, um, like I was, we were having a discussion yeah, tonight. Yeah. A lot of them are angry at religion. Yeah. Which, I, and I said to you, it's understandable. Why is it understandable? Why, why do you think the atheist has every right to be angry at religion? Well, it hasn't really brought people together, has it? You know, like, we were, I was saying it earlier today when I was um, at the barber shop. I was saying to my barber, um, um, you know that in Nigeria, you have churches everywhere, yeah. but there's still corruption, there's still killing, there's still violence, there's still exploitation. But when you go to countries like Norway or Denmark, where there's fewer churches, there's fewer people that believe in it, there's more equal life in it. But at the same time, you know, they are like um, a European and people like to say, you know, Western countries are more developed than that. But when you look, okay, let's compare it from UK or um, England to Denmark. You understand? Mm-hmm. They have more churches here, more people believing in God here. And Denmark doesn't have that much or it doesn't have less people believing mm-hmm. it. And yet the violence or the the, the so-called, um, um, the way the society is functioning, is functioning much better, the more equal, the more happy they're more what's it called uk i think england they said all oh, uk was the most um unhappy they have the most unhappy teens in the whole of europe or something like that mm-hmm. yeah so you know like just know that like this is why i said that um um atheists have this issue with religion because when you look at these cut places like it's worked for them understand people always bring it's always religious people that bring up that because religion makes them better but when you see the pattern of behavior, it's not adding up. Like I was saying, right, being an atheist and all that is cool and all that, but I just feel like, see, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm not an atheist either. I'm a, I might not be a religious person, so, but that doesn't mean I'm an atheist either. I just feel like the, most of these atheist people, they're just angry because mm. they were forced into <laughs> yeah, being yeah, Muslim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or being that, so a lot of times here. Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> there's some there's some eighties people that were born in the, in a family that were eighties, didn't it? So they their thinking is completely different from someone that just got came out 
of a Christian or an Islamic family, the way they behave here are two different things. I think the way they react, the, some of that came from an Islamic or is Christianity, a Christian family, the, the way they react to religion, yeah, I study and the way someone that is born into it react to religion is two different things. But I hear what you're saying, and so that's what makes me feel that most of the ages guys, people are just angry, fam. Yeah, and to me, they're not even helpful, they're not even being helpful because they're just making the other group to help it angry as well. Mm. And that's what's going to happen, it's just going to cause even more. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why I don't even agree with those people at all. That, that, that's why I'm saying that, um, um. Those type of atheists now, and I know that's a nip it in the body crime for you, isn't it? Um, when you look at um, the way I developed and became an atheist, I, I was listening to people who were more logical in their approach to the thing. You understand? Mm -hmm. Like, in the, in the sense that no matter how much, and this probably comes from my upbringing too, because having Nigerian parents in it, so, like, um, you know, say that um, whenever they talk to you, no matter how. Uh, much rubbish they might be talking you're always told that you have to listen yeah. mm -hmm. and you have to listen and you have to understand and respect them because you're their elder and whatnot or respect them because what's it called they're talking to you and whatnot so especially being an elder so for me it was like you can swear do all them things sometimes but i'll still listen to you and try and decide like i might get a bit annoyed or upset or frustrated by the fact that you're talking to me like that but i'll try to decipher like I, I always try to reflect like I don't um, it's crazy because my mum always says I never reflect but when I go back and listen to <clears> what you were saying I'm trying to always say okay forget all the anger and everything you was coming with what was he actually trying to say mm -hmm. and that's what I do but a lot of people don't do that and it's not just atheists a lot of like a lot of it comes from the religious people because you might, in your reality, you're saying it's all atheists. No, 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 saying, no, no, I'm not saying, I'm not saying, okay, uh, we've all been in debate with mostly Christians and, okay, religious people, yeah. and they get aggressive as well, I know. Yeah. Yeah. The, the Muslims get mad aggressive. Yeah. I've been in debate with Muslims, and they, they get aggressive all the time. I see Christians, get they get they take it too personal, that's fine. And I'm saying that the atheists do the same thing. So imagine these two groups going back and forth with each other. What is going to happen? It's going to cause more upset and more yeah. shit happening in society anyway. Yeah, so, so who's being there? Who's I, being helpful? I, I think um, I think maybe it's a question of that like, because you're a Muslim, because you're an atheist, mm -hmm. you should be on a more more, more higher ground than that. Then mm -hmm. um, that's where you're coming from, isn't it? That's where I'm coming from okay. because at least being a religious person is something that that's what they're doing. You were born into, yeah. So you're more you take it more personal. Yeah, it's that's basically your life. This has shaped up your life, right? I think, I think yeah. I think I think the way it is like. Because I know, know that um, a lot of atheists are not really um, scientific in their approach. Uh -huh. And being scientific, uh, me being agreeing with things like the, the, the so-called scientific method, mm -hmm. it's like facts don't care about your feelings. So if I'm gonna if I'm gonna make an argument about something and I have no facts to back it up, no matter how annoyed and how it might feel, I might feel about it. If I don't have the facts to back it up, I'm just gonna have to say I'm wrong and walk away. That's how sorry. That's how I deal with it. You understand? Mm -hmm. So I've had arguments where I couldn't back it up. And I was so and I knew I was right. I knew I was right. I knew I could back it up. I wanted to say this guy's an idiot and whatnot, but I was like, hang on a minute, I'm gonna be the idiot because I don't have facts. I'm just now getting emotional. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if I don't have facts, why how can I come at someone saying that I don't have so all I had to do was go back, you know, try to learn a little bit more and come back to talk to this person on it and say, this is why you're wrong on the topic and whatnot. And, like, you can't automatically say. Um, so, for example, um, there are people who are non-religious who don't call describe themselves as atheists. Mm -hmm. I'll say like you, but it's weird because they do say that they believe in a higher yeah. being. Because um, that as well, you can believe in a higher being but none of the so-called religions people, and that's called a deist. So they believe in a higher being, something outside the universe, but they don't believe it's Christianity. They, they just don't believe that being has interacted with us yet. Mm -hmm. Or it's interacting with us, but they don't think, the me they think the message is being distorted. So they're not saying it's Christianity or Islam or any of these religions. They're saying it's just being distorted amongst all of them. Or it's, it's, not, it's not interactive. That's what a deist is. But yeah, 
in terms of um, um, this guy, I was talking to him and I was telling him, oh, that um, technology is not the problem. You know, it is the people who use technology that's the issue. You understand? Mm -hmm. well, the way it's being used, that's the issue. So you can have cars, but you can have cars that don't produce carbon dioxide that's ruining the, end, the environment, mm -hmm. but have something... Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> that looks like the tech. Yeah, yeah but, or have um, cars that... Um, what's it called, produce good things that will make the environment better or whatnot. Mm -hmm. But he kept on saying no, it's the, the thing. And he sounded logical when he was talking his thing, but that's probably, probably, I got intimidated when he was talking a little bit, because I do get intimidated sometimes when people talk, because I'm not a shouter. Mm -hmm. I, I try to be logical as I can. I, I would literally try to listen to you. That's, I brought, anyone that's shouting and anything, I just feel like, you're not you're, you're yeah. just being emotional right now and i, I don't definitely. like it and whatnot and it frustrates me and it gets me annoyed sometimes but yeah like definitely like i hear that type of thing and i was trying to break it down to him and i couldn't break it down to him so i was, was just starting it so i was just like you know what you know i i don't have the evidence fully right now and yeah. i have to go learn it and that's where i i i i, I left it but yeah a lot of uh, atheists are not scientific so uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. And, and that's what I was saying about, you know, most of them, they just, they are, like I said, they are angry. Oh, no, some of them, they are angry and they just changed, in it? They just got into it. They met someone probably or looked on YouTube channel, on YouTube and said, okay, I'm, I'm an atheist now, right? And they're always finding reasons why religion is wrong, but they don't know, like, they can't, they can't get into yeah. debate like you. Yeah. They can't give scientific reasons, yeah, and yeah, that's yeah. why I'm like, listen, you don't probably don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you don't, you don't, because some some of them will say, make, cause that's why I said that I was talking to you about atheism the other day, uh, um, the other day, and you mm -hmm. said, what's an atheist? And I said, an atheist is literally someone who lacks belief mm -hmm. or does not follow any uh, of the conventional religions today. Mm -hmm. That's what an atheist is. So if you ask me, do you believe any god? Right now, that do I actively go out? On a, on a Sunday, Wednesday, whatever, any day of the week, do I actually go out to believe, to, you know, worship this God? I'll tell you, no, I don't. Mm -hmm. So, <clears> therefore, <throat> that would make me an atheist, isn't it? Yeah. But if I told you, if you ask me now, do you know if there's any God now? I don't know if there's any God. No one can prove that. So, that would make me agnostic. Because agnostic has to do with knowledge. That's the problem with atheism and belief. People, um, atheism and agnosticism, people conflate the two. People think that you're asking the same question when you put, pose it, but wants to do with knowledge, wants to do with belief. Do you believe in a God? No. Do you know if there's a God? I do not know. So that's why I can come and say to you, I'm, a, I'm an agnostic atheist. And that's an actual term. Agnostic atheism is an actual term. But a lot of people don't understand it. They go out there, they misconstrue it. They think atheism means no God. No, atheism literally says, I do not believe in one. And agnostic has to do with whether or not you can know there is one. Okay. <laughs> We're going to end it here, man. Thanks, Ralph. <laughs> That's an interesting topic, man. Um, <laughs> once again, it's, all right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'll get him on next time. If you guys want him here, I'll get him more and more. We'll talk about different types of topics. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well. And feel free to add anything in the comment section. Is there anything you'd like to add to it? I like power. power. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's deep. All right. I hope you guys have a good day. Take care. Bye, guys.